เป็นสีเพชรเฉลิมบนเตวอนเจ้าใจตาตัวเจ้าเมืองเซ็งพอลคริสเมย์ยูคอมเมนต์นะ Good evening everyone ดาวจงดาวจง I am very happy to be here tonight to celebrate with you the 29th annual Hmong Freedom Celebration and Sports Tournament It really has become just a wonderful festival over the years. It's grown every year, gotten bigger and better every year, and we greatly uh, enjoy this uh, festival. I want to congratulate and thank everyone at Lao Family Community in Minnesota for their incredible hard work to make this uh, festival a success. This tournament is one of the largest, perhaps the largest, gathering among people in the United States of America. On average, it draws 50 to 60,000 people to the city of St. Paul. It not only showcases the strength of the Hmong community, it also showcases the wonderful city of St. Paul. It's the best of the best on and off the field. We enjoy soccer, volleyball, flag football, kato, tennis, and topspin. There's wonderful food and arts, crafts, and music. It's something that all of our residents share. I agree with Chu Pan Lee, who says, this is not just a Hmong festival, this is a festival for all of the city of St. Paul. You know, there's so much uh, excitement on the field during these couple of days. It's always fun to watch the different games that are going on. But I'm particularly impressed by the strength and the growth of, the, of Hmong soccer. There was an article recently in Hmong Today that talked about that growth. It says the, change, the, the face of Hmong soccer is changing with greater diversity, talent, and, co and competition. There is so much potential, it said, for Hmong soccer to become really powerful, but it will take hard work and a community effort to make it happen. So as we watch all of the players this week playing soccer, Perhaps we should look to see who among them might be on the World Cup team next year playing in South Africa. Wouldn't that be something? The festival is really a culmination of a journey, a journey that began many years ago that led to the Hmong people in the city of St. Paul. As a community, the Hmong people have adjusted to life in America, You've drawn on the strengths, both of the Hmong culture and of the American culture, and you continue to maximize your opportunities. Even in these very difficult times, though the economy is tough, people are facing losses of job, businesses are struggling, the Hmong people continue to thrive in the city of St. Paul. Chief among those reasons is because of the importance of education, to the Hmong people. Many of you know the importance that I place on education and the importance that the city of St. Paul that realizes education has for all of our children, but particularly for those of us in the Hmong, those in the Hmong community, those in the immigrant community who know that education has always been the key to success in America. That's why I've been so proud to stand with my education director, Valley Morrow, who has done a wonderful job of connecting the residents and the children of this community to educational opportunities. I'm particularly proud now that she is the DFL endorsed candidate for school board in the city of St. Paul, and hopefully very soon will take her place on the school board to truly impact the lives of children in this community. The community continues to thrive, whether you're at the International Market or along University Avenue. As we make changes to that avenue, it is critically important that the Hmong community continue to thrive and that the businesses continue to thrive so that light rail becomes a benefit to all, not a detriment to some. Look at the wonderful things that are happening in the Hmong Academy Charter School. The faces of the children when you walk into that building who are embracing learning and embracing opportunity. This is a weekend to remember how far the Hmong community has come. But most importantly, it's an opportunity to see how bright the future is for the Hmong community. I am very proud to be the mayor 
of the city of St. Paul that hosts this wonderful festival. Enjoy the weekend. Make the 29th a wonderful festival. We'll look forward to truly celebrating the 30th in grand fashion. Thank you very much.